not so much rice. And less rice back there. Ah. Well, almost done with Monday. I've got the online class in uh, nine minutes. I will be most likely home for that. So we'll get that out of the way. I may or may not go pick up that mower part. I'm not really in a hurry for it. Um, been making good progress with YouTubes today and math. Math was very progressive and the YouTubes were progressive. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be another uh, productivity day. Getting stuff done. Feels good. Feels good. It's all mental. It's all mental what you got on your plate, you know. Clean your plate off, boys. It's 78 degrees. Today was supposed to be sunny. We haven't seen sun all day. It's cloudy and gray as can be. Um, for a little bit, they said it was going to rain for a while, and I haven't seen any rain yet, so I guess that's good news. What's up, guys? 4.14 uh, p.m. Just finished all of the classwork stuff today, so that is good. Um, just went to the bank, had some cash I wanted to, to, uh, to eliminate, so I dropped that off. And uh, before I got in the car at the bank, I dropped the flip on the concrete. It's like it's 40th fall from four feet down to cement. Um, so it hit and the cover came off the battery and everything. But I uh, put it back together. So then I pull out and I see this black, nice looking car coming. I thought it was a, um, a Tesla S for a second. It wasn't. It was an Aston Martin DBS. You could tell by the hood vents as it got closer. So I pulled the camera out. I'm like, I have just enough time to catch the tail end of this thing on film. Well, when I dropped it, the battery got dicked. So I'm sorry I didn't get that for you. But black Aston DBS looking good. Oh, that is probably my favorite Martin, the DBS. Beautiful car. I was debating getting a haircut while I'm out. I was right next door to the uh, haircut place when I was at the bank over there. Um, but there's a coupon at home, and I can't bring myself to waste like $5. So I guess we'll do that tomorrow. But today's productivity will continue. Um, I'm going to head home, and I think unless it starts to rain shortly, which I don't think it's going to, I'm going to uh, cut my grass at home. Here's the reason. Tomorrow's supposed to be 90 degrees. You heard me right, 90. It was 60, 65, maybe 70, most of August. It is now September 9th. Tomorrow will be September 10th. It will be 90 degrees. I don't want to mow tomorrow. Then it's going to rain, and I don't want to mow in the rain neither. So I'm thinking, hey, you know what? Why don't I just mow? It'll be really easy since I'm not taking much grass off. Just get her done in like 40 minutes and then be done with it. So that'll be good. I'm going to go home and do that. I can feel the humidity already. It's only 82 right now, but uh, it feels probably more like 85. And if the sun were out, it'd be 85 if the sun were out, but it's cloudy as frick. Sorry, I'm, I'm like filming my headliner. That does no good, no good, no how. Oh, we're going to be tight. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I was looking at the Lexus ES thinking, are they going to try to come through? Am I going to have room? Little do I know the Kia ahead of me got scared and decided to stop. There we go. Yard is done, the sprinklers are out since it's not supposed to rain now until Thursday. Which means now that it will all day tonight, and or all tonight and all day tomorrow. But, it's nice and green now. I'm gonna go eat dinner. All right, so it's 6.40, something like that. I'm nearly falling asleep in the chair in there. My yard is greening up, it's ridiculous. Can you see, like right there where the water's hitting versus here? Yeah, it's looking good. Um, however, we've got a bit of a problem that's uh, come to my attention out here in the back. Well, we fixed a problem earlier today. I put those little green caps on the end of the sprinklers so no more leaks there. And maybe that increase in pressure caused the problem back here. I don't know. But all of this is good. I've got my connection uh, stuff over there, but uh, friggin' uh, this here is is not a design feature of uh, of the program so um, yeah let's see it would appear to me that uh, in the freaking pipe here which used to be perfectly buried and uh, I guess you could say erosion and, and whatnot has uh, has screwed that up because uh, it, it comes out of the creek here, you know, behind the house and then pumps up through this, uh, looks like about an inch diameter hose, and, uh, and goes up there to uh, the spigot. So this is the full force here, 220 volt pump back there, and we've got a nice little, uh, little crack there, and it is blowing, uh, I don't know, 10 feet, getting some free water back here in the yard, which is good. However, that isn't good for pressure. <laughs> probably losing a good bit of pressure there. 
which means I'm going to have to cut out a couple inches of it and uh, put a thing in there and with some PVC glue or whatever. And uh, yeah, I, I think I can handle that fine. It's just going to be a matter of I'll, I'll let it go today. I'll have to go down the basement maybe and uh, find some more pipe and some of those things that you put over the pipe. And I guess we'll figure that out. But damn it, almost made it like 25 years with no problems, but now we have a slight problem. So we'll fix that later. I can definitely tell the pressure is not what it should be. I mean, even just standing on the hose, it gives quite a bit. They sound slower and it's not throwing water very far. So I'm going to head down my basement. Down my basement! And we'll see what we can find. Thank you, Herbert. Okay, this is what I pulled out of the basement. We'll go outside for uh, greater visibilities. Um, I don't think that's inch diameter. That could be three quarters. And it's pretty thin sidewall. And this is slightly bent. It's been sitting in a box for probably 25 years. I think that's the right pipe. I mean, it, it looks like it's the same color <laughs> as if that makes a difference. So I'm going to walk back there. Now, of course, this would be the right way to fix it. Cutting a piece out and putting a new piece in. But that means I'm going to have to bend it to be able to get it fit inside at least a half an inch or an inch with some PVC glue on it. Kind of me, kind, part of me just wants to get like a roll of duct tape and go over it. Or freaking put Loctite and donuts on it and then go over it with duct tape. Uh, or some sort of cement, but... <laughs> That won't even last through the winter, and once I hit it with the mower wheel, which is probably what happened today. I go over this every day with the mower, and I did cut the grass here. So, I think that's it. Well, maybe not. This That might be smaller. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. I'm going to have to get in there, cut it open, and see. Oh, jeez. Well... <laughs> Okay, those things fit in here, and I have a saw at home, so that'll do. Nice sunset, and a uh, Genesis coupe, new one, looks pretty nice over there. So I'm going to go back and uh, see if I can get this done before it gets dark on me. Okay, here's our piece. I cut the piece exactly how it was. It's just bent backwards a little bit, so I'm thinking I may want to put a stake in there go down like a foot in the ground on either side just to keep it down because it's lifted up now with water pressure but no leaks so far so we'll let it run a little bit and uh, see how she goes much better much better blowing lots of water there's position two it's maybe eight o'clock I'll let those go to 9:30 or 10 um, it's bu bulging up again back there so I'm definitely gonna want to get uh, probably just some stakes or something. I mean, I'll, I'll do it so it won't break down on me every time I start watering. But, uh, I don't know, some wire with, like, hooks on the end and just, just keep it down there in the ground. Or buy, like, 40 cubic yards of dirt and pile it up. The end to another busy day. It's 12.54 in the morning. I've been out working in the garage, finished water in the yard. The pipe held up through the whole two-hour exercise, so that's good news. In the mail today, I got my touch-up paint. I also got some stuff from the WCCA Northern Ohio chapter. Uh, I am not think I'm gonna put those stickers on the car, but with the touch-up paint, I did fix, or as good as you can, as well as you can with touch-up paint, those marks that were in the front here. Uh, the clear coat is probably still drying, but there is one right at the tip of my finger. Can you see it? Trust me, you can still see it. It's not that perfect, the flip just sucks. And then there were two there that, uh, you know, at least now they're blue. And the paint matches actually pretty well. Uh, we'll have to see what it looks like in sunlight tomorrow. But So I fixed those things on the hood, or on the bumper that happened uh, on my trip to Baltimore. And then this PDC sensor here in the bumper, ever since I've had the car, has never had any paint on it. So I, I googled, can you paint a PDC sensor? And they said, yes, lightly. So I tried to clean it off and I went over it. And it's kind of a textured finish, but at least now it's blue. You know, if you're up close to a foot, you can see it. But now from the back, standing where anybody would, looking at the car, it is blue and not gray. So good to have touch-up paint on hand. It's the uh, OEM BMW touch-up paint. It's called True Color or something like that. It's right there. It comes with two tubes for Silverstone Metallic, code 425. Yeah, so productive day, lots of stuff done. Got the watch later playlist down to single digits. I'm very happy to report. Got about four hours in today. There's about three more to go. So we'll keep working on that through the week. Um, I wanted to talk about these. 
what I bought on day 1000, those Bose headphones. We'll do that tomorrow. When I have more energy, I want to go out and take my shower, get in bed. It is hot as hell in here. It's supposed to be 90 degrees tomorrow, which is crazy. So it's 60 in August and 90 in September. Dicked. Okay, guys, we'll talk tomorrow on 1004, I want to say. All right, good night.